How to Build Realistic Scenery is the latest special issue from Model Railroader Magazine. Inside, you'll find 23 great scenery projects and more than 150 techniques that will help you make your layout look its best. And be sure to watch the free how-to videos at ModelRailroader.com. Order your copy of How to Build Realistic Scenery online or call our toll-free number today. First of all, we're going to get some our paint ready in the palette. And I've got a little mixing bowl. I like to use a mixing bowl because of uh, the fact that I use kind of liquid paints. I don't use it out of the tube, so I like to have little individual cups for my individual colors to keep them in place. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm only using one color, I'm going to use the main mixing area. I'm going to put the, the white in there. So this is what we call, <laughs> this is what we call mixing gray. A little ultramarine, a little black, and white. I'm going to use a, a smaller brush, and it depends on how big your clouds are. If you've got big clouds, you use a bigger brush. But uh, we're going to do just do a little cloud, just for the demonstration. And I'm going to take that, this brush, and I'm going to mix just a little bit of black, just, just a touch, just to get it in there. And tone down that white a little bit. But we're going to do a little cloud here. And you can use your hand for a support if you need to. I'm just going to do like a little circular motion here. And it's actually called scumbling. And I've got a little too much on there, so I'm going to use my, my white towel to dab it off a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. Not going to do a real big cloud, just a little one. Now I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to grab a little more. I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to thin that down over here on this side. Okay, so I'm going to add this pure white on here. And it's a wash again. You don't want anything real opaque. You just want to do a few little, bring in the highlights of the, the billowy part of the cloud. Now I'm going to grab a smaller brush because I want to do some highlights on this cloud. And I'm just going to come around the edges at the, at the top a little bit. Just to bring a highlight in there. Now I got a little too much on there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to dab it off. Okay. Now I'm going to come back in with a little more pure white, smaller brush. Maybe add a few more little billows to break it up so it doesn't look, those billows don't look all the same size. You want to break them up a little, make them look a little interesting. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to grab a flat small flat brush and I'm going to do the bottom of the cloud with a little bit of uh, that mixing gray. I'm going to add a little more, just a, a dab more black to that. So I'm just going to come in here and use my hand as a support and just kind of come along the bottom and I've got, I've got it way too dark. so. And I'm going to put a lot more white in there. So I'm just going to come over this. And it's a little dark down there, so I'm just going to go over that part. I got a little wide there on the bottom. So I'm going to grab some more of this, uh, this white. I'm going to do a little touch up on the, on the top part of the cloud where it runs into the bottom. There you have it. Yeah, so that's, that's how we uh, paint a cloud. And uh, so now uh, you can go crazy with it.